This is a demonstration of how to build a learning module in Moodle. This is what a Moodle study web looks like when it's first created. I'm going to turn the editing on and build a learning module in this first topic area. Click on the activity drop down list and select curve contribution and link. That will log me into the curve repository. I'm going to add it to the teaching collection and give it a title. Learning module building will do nicely. Let's put a description in. I'm going to paste the description I put in earlier. So a learning module is a collection of files, web pages and websites together with navigation controls. Note it can also contain existing curve items that have been added by yourself or others, such as library videos. The learning module remains in Curve and can be linked to from Blackboard or Moodle and it can be edited in Curve. Let's add some keywords and give it an author and here media type. What sort of resource are you contributing? Well this is a learning module so we can select that one. A learning module is effectively a combination of all the other things below. So we'll go to the next page and here we've got the ability to add the elements that will make up the learning module. As I said it's a combination of all the other things so it's quite a complicated page. Let's first add some files. Let's add a doc file, open that and attach it. That's bringing in the doc file. In a minute we'll add a PDF file. You can add PowerPoint files as well. Let's browse and add a PDF file, open that and attach it. You're strongly recommended to use PDFs and remember you can do a PDF file of a PowerPoint presentation. That's because they open directly in the browser. Let's browse and add one more file, an HTML file, and attach that. You might have noticed that there's a new button here, Files from My Content. I'm not going to cover that one in this presentation, but if you use that, you'll be able to use a drag and drop facility and drag whole folders of files or zip files into this area. Below the file upload is the web page selector. I haven't got any web pages at the moment, so I'm going to create one in this HTML editor and add a page. Let's call it my new page. OK, here's the HTML editor. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing stuff here, but it's a really good editor. You can bold stuff, you can change the font size, you can add pictures. It works really nicely. So that'll do for now. Scrolling down and save that page. So now this learning module is building up. I've got three files here. I've got a web page that I've just created. I could have added one from my content. Um, we can do website links. So I'm going to do a website link to the BBC. Uh, give it a title, description, and oops, that'll do better. Add that. So now we've got a website link. And remember I also said you can have Curve resources that are already in the Curve repository. So I'm going to select a resource and search for one. Um, it's a library video about flying. Um, here it is. Should I really give up flying? I'm going to select that. Scroll down a bit and yes, that's the one I want. So I'm selecting the check resources and I'm finished with that. So now that will add right at the bottom of the list here should I really give up flying? So we've got all boxes ticked, ticked in this case. You don't have to tick all the boxes. You could just do curve resources or just website links. Your learning module can be a collection of any or all of these. Right, let's move on to the next one. This next one is uh, the navigation control and it would be very nice if it said remember to click the initialize button. This is the one to click initialize. This will get all the elements in from the previous one. Um, I don't want it to start with the, that one, so I'm going to select the PDF file and bounce that to the top and perhaps move the BBC one down to that level there. So you can see you can reorder the information. If you want to, you can edit the display titles. This would look a lot nicer if it was a learning module like so. Um, you can remove the items as well. I'm going to leave the rest of them as they are like that and off to the next page. Oh, if you didn't want something to be included you could just remove it at this point if you didn't want to display the doc file. Okay, on to the next page. Yes, I will add some metadata very quickly. It's a learning module. It's instructional. It 
takes about 10 minutes and this one's aimed at staff development uh, belongs in C online it's to do with Moodle and curve and it can be used in blackboard web CT as well moving on a bit more who can see this only me well no I'm going to make this available to all staff of the university do they need to put a password in the viewing bit no I'm happy with that and I don't require them to acknowledge my ownership of this item going on to the next tab and because this link bbc.co.uk has also been used by other websites the system's just checking are you sure you want to do it again and the answer is yes on to the next one and here we can see the various elements that we've got in here and the six elements that make it up we'll click save and we'll publish it this is now creating the learning module inside the curve resource center and that's been made now now what do I want to do with it I want to make a link into Moodle so I'm going to select this item and I could view it here if I wanted to check it out I'm going to scroll down notice that the six individual elements can be individually selected you don't have to take the whole package but I will I'm going to select the whole package and that will add the item to my presentation and any minute the first page will open there's the PDF file so it's added it with the description there's the PDF file I'm going to jump to the next one which is the HTML file the HTML file that I created my page and here's a link to the library this video um, you won't be able to see it on the recording but actually it is playing the video as I speak if I click on the word file that's going to pop up a, a box saying do I want to open this so the answer is yes and to open this in Word it's going to take a few minutes so you can perhaps hear the video playing in the background sorry about that um, come on you can open faster than that if you want to there we are words opened and the word file will load I think you can see from this demonstration why we recommend that you use PDF files PDF is so much easier for the students to handle but anyway there's the word file it's open it's come down I'll switch that off for the minute and switch to the other website the BBC website to stop the background noise okay so that's learning modules back to the beginning again um, if I click back to the home page of the module now we'll see we've got a link called learning module building turn editing off so you can see it more clearly when we click on that there the learning module opens very quickly for us in the page okay that's been a long one but thanks for listening